welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh and this is Josh. Hi. And today we're gonna to teach you how to do a CLI restore and backup for your Nase 32. Yep, one thing if you're getting into multi-rotors, it's inevitable. You're gonna to have to do some programming, especially with race quads. Yeah, and CLI, as we all know, stands for computers lie intentionally. You think that you have... <laughs> it's you, really accurate. You think that you have all your settings, your tuning, everything perfect, but then one little tweak happens and it's all gone. You're done. You've been lied to. Or you have a perfect tune and your friend across the pond in Europe somewhere has the exact same setup. You want to share it with them. Yeah. You want to send them a little present. How do you do that? Now this here is my son Noah's uh, multi-rotor. It's his Versacopter. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to back this up. We're going to save that tune. And then we're going to lose it. We're going to lose it on purpose. A couple mm -hmm. things you're going to need real quick. You're going to need to have uh, your uh, clean flight application downloaded. That's a Google app and if there also be links down below on where you can go to get that information to download that app. You need that first. Okay. All right. So our app is downloaded. Yes. It's configured. Right. Um, now we're ready to just make a hookup. Okay. So this plugs into... Yeah. Reverse the copter, it's right there. All right. Now, if you're flying like a Grappner GR18, this is only for NAS 32s. And upper right hand corner, we'll hit connect. All right. Perfect. Now, if we did everything right, we should be able to make this little guy oh. dance. And she's working great. Wonderful. Now, very bottom left hand corner, we have something called CLI, Command Line Interface. Okay. Uh, Although uh, I like computers fly a, intentionally, uh, that's pretty I good. I thought maybe it was a separate. Acronym, it's nope. the same one, okay. So what do you think we need to get the information? What do we need to type in? Uh, lots and lots of code. Lots of code, no, there, there's four simple words. Okay. Dump. <laughs> type in dump. Is there more words than that? That's it, D-U-M-P. So there's four simple letters that spell uh, one yeah. not so simple word. That's true, that's true. Dump, D-U-M-P, D -U enter. Look at all oh, the beautiful information. That is quite a dump. Right there, <laughs> right there is the heart of your uh, your data. That is everything. Now, if you just do a restore and backup on the surface, there's a lot of data like loop timing that you're gonna lose okay. or potentially lose. Also, sometimes there's I've had configuration difficulties. This way will give you all the information that's on your nays that makes your nays behave like the nays that you love. So go ahead and select all. There we go. <laughs> that's nice. Now go down just below the word dump. Just below, okay. There you go, perfect. Now we're gonna save that into a text file. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy it. Yep. Okay. And then I'm going to open up some kind of text document. You are really good with these Macs. And so you're just going to want to use a simple, plain text file, really simple format. Nothing crazy. Okay. Yep, so I have it. And go ahead when you save that, make sure you save the format the way you want. Okay. All right. So when you save, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to put it right on the desktop. What do we want to call it? Uh, Noah Settings. Noah Settings. Okay. All right, I'm gonna save it to the desktop so mm -hmm. we know where it's at. So you saved it as a rich text document, but mm -hmm. you went back and you made a plain text. That means it's just the data. Yeah, I'm gonna save it as that. So. Perfect. Okay. Go ahead and open up Clean Plate. All right. Now go ahead and type the word exit. Thanks. It's another simple four letter word. Yep. Now we're going to have a link down below for you uh, at the very bottom. Oscar Lang is amazing with his tutorials. Uh, go ahead and check that out here. He gives you the, the commands you need to know, talks all about loop timing, PID loops, uh, way more complicated stuff than we could ever cover here. It's an easy read. He's very knowledgeable. Uh, check that out. There'll be a link below. All right. Okay. So if you go down, the easiest way to tell whether my son's uh, dad is still in there, if you go to the receiver mm -hmm. and highlight that, he's flying this off a of Spectrum. It's uh, right on the left-hand side, just below PID tuning. Up okay. a little bit. There you go. Okay. Now, if you look here, the channel assignment at the very top channel map. Yeah. It's labeled throttle, so, aileron, aileron, elevator, elevator rudder. 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 Okay. All right. Go ahead and go to setup right now. We're gonna do something really bad. Okay. Yep. Go ahead. <laughs> I've done this so many times. Click that dreaded reset settings. Right here. See that big old button that should not be there. It should it's say, "Are gigantic. you sure?" Gigantic. You don't even get a chance. Once you hit this, you're done. Look at that. You've just been dumped. Now go back to your channel map and let's check out and see what that looks like on the receiver. Right. Uh-oh. Uh yep, that's bad. It's all out of, out of whack. So now it's acting like it's Futaba. Now the bad thing about this is, is, say it didn't work and it's like, why won't this work? And you moved your stick somehow to arm this. It's going to become very dangerous very quickly. So we want to be able to save that file where if we didn't make an adjustment, we don't know what we did, we can always go back to it. The second you guys have a file that is 90% there, save it. Save that CLI file and document it someplace safe. Okay. So we know we have a messed up machine. Yes. Let's go ahead and hit connect and disconnect since we've tapped into this so many different times. Okay. So we realize we have a problem. Okay. Go ahead and reconnect it. All right. There you there go. There we go. We have our dancing quadcopter. 
Let's Move go ahead and that. go back to CLI again. All right, now we got to find that file that we just saved, right? Right, which we saved right on the desktop. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to copy all this. I'm going to copy it all and paste it right over there. Okay. It's a lot of data. It is. <laughs> okay. Copied. And paste it. Yep, give it a second. Okay. It's thinking. It's dumping. It takes a little while. There uh, you it's go. All there. It's, it's all, all there. It's all there. All right, go to the very bottom there. Could you scroll it back to the bottom? Yeah. Perfect. Hit save. S-A-V-E. Wait, like a button? Uh, type save. Oh. My apologies. Enter. Now type exit. Okay. All right. Well, the total sign will be if our channel mapping's gone back to where it's right. supposed to be. And there we have it. All right, sweet. So every time that you dial in a quadcopter, you really want to protect your settings. This is a really easy way to do it, but to get all those settings like loop timing, those complicated things that you may not be able to track down and see what changed. So don't hesitate to always have a backup there and then put a date on it too. That way you know which one's the most recent. Also in the future, we're going to be uh, working with great people like Schizo, Freybot, yeah. uh, Daughtry to get their setups on VersaCopters and any future Right, yeah, like Josh said, it's a great way to share other people's settings. And uh, if you go to flighttest.com slash settings, you'll be able to see the settings of a lot of these guys. Yep, be patient with us. Right now we only have one, but we're gonna have a lot more in the future. If you guys are looking for any more build information about the V2 VersaCopter or the Naze Rev 6 setup video, those will both be linked down below. Sweet, now we gotta get this back home. No, it doesn't know you have it. Right? He'll never know. And he doesn't watch flight test, does he? Never. Okay, never. good. All right, you'll be good. All right, thanks you guys for watching. See you next time.